It was evening. Edward had a busy day, and as he stopped at the last station before the junction, he was looking forward to getting home. Peep, peep! Get in quickly, please! He whistled to the passengers. The passengers got in quickly, and Edward's driver pulled the lever, but Edward found that he couldn't move. The driver checked Edward's brakes, but nothing seemed to be wrong. He scratched his head. Whatever can be the matter, he wondered. He gave Edward more steam. This time, Edward started, but went only a little way before he stopped with a groan. It's no good, the driver said to the fireman. Something's holding us back. Go and see if the guard can help, please. The fireman jumped down to the platform and ran along to the guard's fan. What's up? demanded the guard. Reckon the brakes is sealed on, said the fireman. Is yours all right? Should be, replied the guard. And he tried to turn the handle, but it wouldn't move. The firemen helped, but they still couldn't turn it. So they called the driver, but it made no difference. The brake handle had stuck fast. We shall miss Henry's connection at the junction if we can't start soon, said the driver. Let's give Ed Edward everything he's got and hope for the best. It would be hard work, he told Edward but I'm sure you'll do your best. Rather deftly, Edward agreed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Smoke and steam poured from his funnel, and slowly the train moved. Once they were moving, things became easier, but Edward found that he couldn't go any fast, however hard he tried. Oh dear, he said. I'm sure we'll miss Henry's train. Suddenly, there was a jerk, and everything was easy. They reached the junction quickly, and while the passengers changed to Henry's train, Edward's fireman went to find out what had been wrong with the guard's brake. One tiny nut! A broke and jammed itself against the brakes so that we couldn't turn the handle. Then after we started, the brake itself broke so that we could move properly. The driver laughed. Come on, Edward. Let's get that guard's friend into a siding where it can be mended. Who would ever thought that small nut could cause so much trouble? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.